<laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Wait a second, you guys. Listen, oh. tell your friends if they're not here right now because oh. the legend has shown up. Please put your hands together for that rock and roller himself. Dale Keown is here. No way. Whoa. Hi, guys. Dale. What's up? How are you? Each and every one of you. Gary Martin, good to meet thank you finally. You. Thanks for thanks for getting here. Oh, yeah. Oh, so awesome to see you, Dale. Hey, guys. Who is that guy with the blank? Oh, that's Dan. It's me. <laughs> it's Dan. Oh, my God. How about you? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Is that? Who is that? Dan is down there. Yeah. Oh, it's Dave Williams. Hi, David. <laughs> hey, how's it going, buddy? How are you, man? Good to see you guys. <laughs> right. Thanks for the invite. It's been a while. Well, dude, we Did you bring your pencil, Dale? Yeah, you're going to draw, aren't you? Uh, I don't know. Dude, you can draw on your lap. Draw it. Uh, you can draw on your lap. <laughs> get dude, your number two pencil out. out. I'm sure it's you got it. It's right, yeah, 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 just draw a little yeah, bit, yeah, hold yeah. it up. It could right. be like a headshot. It could be a, you know, it doesn't yeah, have to just be something come complicated. Come on, Dale. The people are yelling. I'm not, uh, I don't like to make promises. <laughs> that. <laughs> My butt doesn't make promises. No, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. Like I don't write checks that my butt can't get. <laughs> uh, I, Say what? <laughs> yeah. You can you can mine that you're drawing, and then and then at the end of the show hold up a finished piece that that you did a while ago. Yeah, I, years ago. It's all. I might be able yeah. to do that. I might be able to pull it off. Or, like I said, Dale, you could just sit back and heavily criticize everyone else. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, every way. Me. I don't know if you know me, but that's not really like me. No. Oh, here's where I, you start. I'm full of compliments. I want to build. You could be, you but could if, be, you know, if somebody asks me a, a question, I'll be honest. Evil Dan. <laughs> me. Well, I'm not going to ask you what you think of my sketch, <laughs> then. Uh, well, your every, sketches are a great way. Always yeah. great. What are you talking Dale, about? everybody in the chat is begging you to draw. So I don't want you to feel pressured or anything, but uh, <laughs> draw a little something. Come on, you we're know, celebrating really, Bernie I'm, Wrightson. Come on. I'm comfortable uh, drawing on, 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 online, but not when Dale's watching. Oh, my <laughs> God. Come on. I was going to say the same thing about you, Dan. Yeah, yeah. no pressure now. That's yeah. right. Oh, look at that. Let's pull up some Dan artwork and rub it yeah, in. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I, I know. It's so nice. It's so look nice. Uh, let's see. Draw Best name book. I can think of for a buck ninety nine says draw Dale. Give into the peer pressure. There it is. Look at that. He's in paid money to say that. So, I, um, well, okay. Can I, was gonna, a question? I didn't know there was money involved. Yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. We have you have. Well, there is. He brought up. Yeah, there. yours for us. You're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. We don't work for free. <laughs> oh. A lot of people yeah, think that. Ass, grass, or gas. All right. So, guys, uh, what are we drawing here? Uh, David, what are you going to do? I'm going to draw uh, a portrait of Dale Keown in uh, Bernie Wrightson style. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so, <laughs> I can picture that. You can only yeah. get that here, folks. Dale, what have you been up to, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, you know, just I've been working quite a bit. On what? Gosh, well, it sounds like you're I've done covers, but you know I can't talk about it. You can't even tell. I know you can't show us, but you can't talk about it. No, I can't. Well, I could talk to you talk to you about the process, which is always the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the same shit. I was like, you got a pencil, and then uh... yeah. <laughs> hmm. No, you know what? I mean, I'm doing a cash grab to cover. Are you really? Yeah. It's my next uh, thing. I've been coloring now. I've been coloring some pages. What? Not, yeah. you, can't, you can't share anything with us, though, right now. Is what you're telling I me? I really can't. Okay. All right. I've gotten in trouble before. Dan, post something in the chat so I can rent you, will you, please? What have you colored that I may have seen? or? No, I'm coloring. I did four pages for Gem Shock. Right? Right. Well, those, were, those were like pit pages or something, weren't they? Yeah, where pit shows up. It is a four page fight scene. And I said, listen, I want to color these. She's going, no, I don't think you have time. Do you have time? I said, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> oh, okay. So I, okay, it's in there. <laughs> I kind of forced it on her. I'm going to color these regardless. So I just colored them. Hmm. 
Well, that now, was how, how long, what's your turnaround time like on a page or a pinup or a, you know, well, cover for coloring, just for coloring? Well, you know, I can do, I well, for the four pages, you know, it depends on how many panels. One of the pages had six panels. That took me about four days. But there's a lot of detail. Maybe too much. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's uh, so basically. Yeah, you, <laughs> no, no, well, no, I'm just saying. I've, I've seen your stuff and there's way too much detail. No, 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 dude. I'm just saying it takes, I'm really, really slow at coloring. I could never make a living as a colorist. You know, I might be able to. Yeah, I'm I mean, slow. Not what just I, four days on a page, you couldn't. What I lack, what I lack in color, uh, what do you call it? Philosophy. What do you, what's it called? Color, color theory. theory. Thank you. Color theory. I make up for just with detail, and I, like I render everything. Well, but you know, color theory. If you have a good eye, mm. a lot of us come by that. You you can recognize stuff without actually having being educated in color theory. Well, no, you just look at it until it looks right. Okay. Right, exactly. You're gonna look at it, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I'll keep trying this and trying that. <laughs> and then they go. I, I guess I have to say it's okay. Because you never know. Because you spend too much time with it, right? Right. Well, you know what was it? Uh, what's the old quote? Right, that no piece of artwork is ever fin finished. It's only yeah. abandoned. Right. So yep. exactly. I mean, I mean, Frazetta used to want to repaint his paintings, right? But he's dead. He did. He did. Oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's some good examples of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. I, I I find that stunning because. When I go back and look at how many paintings Frazetta repainted, and I just kept thinking, would I ever go back to my artwork and revisit it like that? Even if I thought it sucked, would I want to redo it or just move on to something different? <clears throat> you know, I don't know, man, because I don't know how long it took him to paint a painting. That's true. I mean, I mean all of that time you dedicated, you want it to be just right. But I think they had to lock him out of his own studio or something yeah <laughs> oh no he's going back to the studio <laughs> it's like no leave he's it alone he's gonna take some of these classics ellie had but to he did the, he did improve from some him them, right he did improve some of them yeah like sea witch i don't think he did he should have left that alone but there was a few things that oh uh, there's this very famous conan painting where he really uh, made it look better but he well, kept, i don't know about I that i don't know i like that original one but which oh, one? where he's like uh, but Where he's like grabbing the guy by the throat, sort of. Yeah, I thought that was incredible. So I that, think Conan, that one's I think hard. Conan might have been too small, too. Oh, are you talking about the one where he's jumping over the uh, all the yeah, all the guys attacking him? He's like, Oh, oh okay, pyramid. yeah, <clears throat> did he go back and mess with that one? Oh, yeah, he's like, Oh, yeah, he made it better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, it's just like, why. I don't know. To me, it's just kind of like, unless it was something that I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't, I can't see myself going back. I would just like, I would just move well, to a different piece, you know? I mean, painting is so labor intensive when you're doing yeah. it. He worked with oils, I guess. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come back. And Although he could do a painting like, like what was that one? Neanderthals? He did it like one night. Okay. Yeah. I love yeah. that one. Yeah, I have that down on my wall. But there's not much paint on the pa on the paper. It's mostly, you know, it's, it's really just. Yeah, he laid lines. down the base color like a, what was it sepia or something? Yeah, the <laughs> <it was> sepia. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sort yeah. of a. I use purple. I don't know why. Well, um, you know, uh, Norman Rockwell, all of his underpaintings were in uh, Mars Violet, which is basically a. Um, uh, Mar is it Mars Red or Mars? But anyway, it's it's a kind of a. It's a mauve kind of color that he used in yeah. his underpaintings. And um, I think it's, it's either Mars Red or Mars Violet. I can't remember. But uh, it was kind of a purplish underpainting, and it works really good with flesh tones and things like that. And that was what he and, did his underpaintings in. Yeah, and it's kind of a neutral tone, but it can yeah. take both. It can take both cool and warm on top of it. Right. So exactly. Like so as far as I know, I'm not really... <laughs> I don't really know that stuff, but it see whenever I'm coloring a page, I go to purple. Yeah, well, I mean, if it's good enough for Rockwell, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Brian that, Belfry does with all of his shadows. He'll do everything in purple first. Yeah. 
Yeah. Also, purple is a good color to render a female body. Hmm. You know, a little bit. Yeah, of, it keeps right, yeah. it warm. Yeah, it keeps it warm, but it's like it, it looks like the uh, the the character is almost translucent. Well, not translucent, but <laughs> they kind of glow, I guess. What are you trying to say, Dale? I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I don't want to get in the the Virgo's veins and. and <laughs> yeah, does he have like tendons on his neck? No, on, on her neck. <laughs> oh, I'm drawing something like this because women are always cold. Yeah, that's what he's getting at. I think is this kind of um, yeah, the heavy metal stuff is great. When you were a kid, you got that magazine. It was kind of like you know, oh look, it's dirty. I'm getting away with something. You know, something yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you look at it in the store. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's high art. That's right. It's not nudity, Mom. It's high it's art. Not a library. <laughs> you buy. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? I got that a few times. You need shame for that. Heavy metal magazine. You don't understand. <laughs> Shaping my future. Oh, I'm sorry. Whew. Okay. I have this, um, I don't know how I got it. It's like this rough Wrightson sketch. It's about this big. It was for the Batman stuff. Remember when he did a Batman story in the sewer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it was from that. It's yeah. an unused, and it's really loose. But I, I don't know. I just wanted it. I traded some artwork for it. Dale, what was it? When you started the Hulk, do you remember what your page rate was? Oh, geez. I had, uh, it's the very, the, the first rate you get. I can't right. remember. Oh. Um, like they're they're kind of trying you out. So I got, it was like 78 yeah. bucks a page. Yeah, 75 oh. or 80, something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But that was 1987 or 88. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I got more than you <laughs> when I started out. I mean, it, it went up. Yeah. It no, I, mean, up. I, so was, I was probably getting top rate when I quit. Right. I would imagine so. But, when you started out, it was like 75 bucks a page. That's what I got. And I started about the same time you did. I would have probably done it for free. I know. So <laughs> you know what I mean? I was so tickled that I even got a job. I was like, so, really? So, and so I'm going to pay me? Yeah. <laughs> pay me yeah. What was the time span between you getting the starting rate and you getting top rate? Um, I think my rate at the end. Oh, geez. I don't remember. No, no, I mean, how oh. long did it take you to get the top rate? Oh, geez. Uh, not that long, actually. It kept going up, and then it was over 100, 150. So well, you were you know, how many years it took, or how long well, that's, it took you know, from the bottom to the top? That's when the Hulk was starting to sell. But there's a normal progress to your, your rate, you know? Right. So I don't know if they if they speed that up, if, you're, if the book is selling more or not. Well, I was going <laughs> to say. Probably not. When you no 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 when you got on the Hulk it really took off fast and I'm mm. sure that it expedited your page rate. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I don't remember. Yeah, that was that they're not wanting to lose you is what I'm thinking. Why you're right. climbing? They didn't want anybody to steal you. Right, and maybe DC or something. Um, right. Wasn't wasn't a lot of options back then. <laughs> but then Image happened, and I quit. Like right when the Hulk was just starting to like climb, you know. Well, you'd been you'd been it, it'd been doing but, well for a while, but I'm sure there was a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth in the editorial office. <laughs> well, they were supposed to give me issue 400, and they pulled it. Yeah, I gave it to Gary Frank, didn't they? No, Gary Frank came later. Who was uh, filling in for you? I don't remember. I don't either. Does chat? <laughs> I used to hate it when an artist would leave a book and then some person would take over and he wasn't quite as good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it lasted yeah. for maybe three issues. That happened with the Hulk. Like John Byrne traded with Mike Mignola. Like uh, Alpha Flight and the Hulk, they traded. <clears throat> what was my They're point? both good. What Mignola did the Hulk. <laughs> I can't remember my Wait a minute, Mignola did the Hulk. Yeah, then Mignola did the Hulk. He was doing the Hulk first, and then he traded with John Byrne for Alpha Flight. I don't remember Mignola doing any Hulk. 
Oh, his I remember that. It was awesome. Yeah, the Hulk was out in some weird uh, universe, and he was tethered by this uh, umbilical cord. It was really weird. <laughs> Why yeah, not? That remember that? Right. Mm-hmm. No, I. You remember that? Uh, you did an issue like with the Defenders, and it was like your first issue. And yeah. then uh, wasn't there a Sam Keith issue that uh, that was great? Yeah, with uh, uh, Doctor uh, Mister Hyde. Yeah, Mister Hyde on the train, and then you came back right as a regular. I thought I was going to get that, and then she. Uh, I guess Sam Keith wanted to do an issue, and she kind of promised it to him, the editor. Oh. But I like that. I was kind of looking forward to doing that one, though. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, it bought him some more time, I guess. Yeah, well, that's what I was wondering if maybe that's what happened was that mm. they were they give them that issue so you could get ahead. Yeah, fill an issue. Yeah, they, they, they had to do that a few times. I remember I got the editor got mad at me because I only did nine pages in two weeks. <laughs> if I could do that now, I'd be laughing. Yeah, you'd be a, yeah. you'd be, you'd say, be a no. superstar. I know. Like, yeah. She kept me on my toes. Was that Bobby Chase? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She was actually a pretty good editor. Ah, she was nice. What'd you think of Peter David? Yeah, I, I uh, hung out with him for a while. Yeah, I liked him. I thought it, I really liked his writing. I thought it was good. Oh, his writing his, as a person. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because his writing sucked. He was a great guy. But he, yeah, he's a really good person. <laughs> no, when I met him, he was sick with a really bad cold. <laughs> it's like his nose is running. <laughs> You're like, oh, dude, don't touch my hand. You know, get yeah. away. <laughs> he just wasn't in the best place. <laughs> oh, man. So why, why, did you, uh, why did you leave and go to Image? <laughs> Actually, it was, no, listen. Oh, wait, who corrupted me? Um, <laughs> McFarland did. McFarland corrupted me. Yeah, well. And then Jim Lee would, gave me a couple calls. Like, I remember McFarland saying, you know what? He didn't, he doesn't sound like that, but <laughs> hey, bud. Um, he, he said we could make $30,000 a book. That was his estimate at the time. And then Youngblood came out and sold what? How many million? Right, like three. So we ago. went. Oh, it surprised everyone, I think. Yeah. But I would have done it for thirty thousand. I mean, that was more than I was making with the Hulk. Well, right, but you, I mean, I was getting, I was getting uh, points, but not, not very much. The the rumor was when Pit Number One came out that you cleared what half a million. Is that accurate, or is it oh was, more than that? Yeah, it was more than that. With newsstand, it was over a million. Okay. Yeah. Well, it sold. It sold five hundred thousand copies. Maybe that's what it was. Was that? Does that sound right, or was it more than that? Six, I think. Six hundred. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It keeps, oh, I mean, it keeps going up whenever I. Dude, when that. when you got that check, could you just like not believe it? Yeah, I remember. I was in a grocery store and I looked at my bank book and I went to my girlfriend. Holy shit! Look at this. She's going. <laughs> She's going Let's get married. Let's get married. Oh, slow down. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ovaries exploding. Yeah. <laughs> we're we not in a good part of town either. So, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Waving my bank book around. <laughs> you got so I much was, money. You know, it's, it's, dude, it's, it's, excuse it's me a, while I whip this out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It happened. It comes over you. You want to brag and. You know, <laughs> I remember I got a I got my biggest check I ever got was I think uh, it was twenty eight thousand dollars for working on uh, Spider Man uh, three sixty five the black holograph cover. And, oh right, uh, you got points. Yeah, and um, I remember I had Shelly take a picture of me holding the check. It's like <laughs> Dale was like ah, one point five million. Look at my checkbook, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> damn that direct deposit. Uh, you got no paper trail. You know, Gary and I were on a uh, a tour of Malibu uh, Malibu's offices. Oh, and where was we that? Launching again? Ultraverse, California, somewhere. Yeah, and you, yeah. your pit pages from pit number one were still sitting in their art return. Oh, and, that's right. They were helping image out. Yeah, so yeah. we gra- we grabbed them and um, we're looking at them. They tackled us, so we didn't, we didn't get away. <laughs> yeah, I guess Gary I, Gary referred to you as a son of a bitch. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> because I knew it. 
Okay, that's coming, that's coming back to me. I swore at you, Dale. That's yeah, he was just like, because we realized you were inking with a brush, and it was just like, are you freaking kidding me? So we stole the pages, and I've got them hanging on my wall right now. Yeah. No. <laughs> Hang on to those. Dude, I it might I be was, worth something one day. I was so yeah. tempted to go Gil Kane and steal those, or at least <laughs> one of them. <laughs> no. That, yeah, that's true, Aaron. I do remember cursing. My integrity kept it. Yeah. yeah. Damn your integrity. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, but uh, when you were doing the uh, cover for uh, my Wraith of God, the werewolf cover, right. I messaged you because I had saw that one of your Hulk covers had gone up on auction on Comic Link and it sold for, I yeah. said, did you hear this? This thing sold for $93,000 and your response was swear jar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna fill that thing up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm be like, right. like, you probably sold all that stuff, didn't you? Like, right at the time well, you got it. Oh my God. You know, the sad, sad story. <laughs> <laughs> there was this guy, dude, there was this art dealer. This is back before anybody knew the value of art. Right. Like, 80s. It started in the 90s. But so this guy would go into the Marvel art room where all of my art was ready to be returned to me. Mm -hmm. He'd go, listen, I'm looking at your artwork. And uh, he said he would like save me some time by buying them off of me. <laughs> for, like this ridiculously low price. And I'm, Dude, so I'm so stupid. I'm going, okay, sure. <laughs> I could kick my, oh, I could shoot myself. I'm so Wait, do you remember which guy it was? His name was Mitch Itkus. No. Oh my Mitch, God! Mitch, Mitch, you you know, oh, Mitch, Mitch, that no, too. not Mitch! No. We all know Mitch. Yeah. We all know Mitch. Yeah. I even think oh, I remember that name. Mitch. Shit. <laughs> and some of that artwork sold for a lot. So I didn't know. Well, right, none of us did, right? We we just needed the extra money. And we're like, yeah, we'll take yeah. it. It was like sixty five dollars a page or something. Oh, that gosh. dirty Mitch. And <laughs> we're talk, we're talking cover. We're talking splash pages. All the juicy Hulk stuff. This guy. Oh, God, darn. Oh, Mitch. You know, plus when you're, when I don't, you're drawing this stuff, and you you know, we the artists themselves kind of doesn't you know you, you kind of know how it's done. You're less impressed when someone who sees the full yeah. result. And so you kind of go, eh, well, and can anybody do this? You know, well, no, you know. Yeah, you can't see it for the first time. Again. <laughs> you can never could, actually. Yeah. Uh, but I'm well, saying, yeah. you don't know, you, to you, it's like, you know, being the magician. You know you know how the rabbit comes out of the hat. It's not as big a deal. And yeah. for them, when they're seeing it, they think it's magic. And so I, I think we tend to kind of underestimate ourselves sometimes, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Bring brings up, brings up a good point, uh, Dale. Did you know how good you were and how popular you were when you were working on the Hulk or we just all kind of work on a little hovel and we don't know what's going outside? Then no, I was just always so <clears throat> worried about deadlines. I didn't think of right. that, <laughs> you know? So you were just kind of doing your thing and you didn't realize. Yeah, I was doing my thing. I was avoiding phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, no, oh no there's bobby again oh. i remember once she left this message she goes what the hell is going on <laughs> so i'm like i'm trying to work as fast as i could oh my gosh that's so what good. the hell maybe she used the, the f word i don't know <laughs> like it, it, looking back then it was so we we're so disconnected i mean you didn't know what the heck was going on how you were yeah. being received or anything like i was that. happy being disconnected yeah. I mean, now we're too connected. Like, <laughs> I miss those days. <laughs> you just kind of like disappear. Yeah. And uh, exactly. did you, you did, um, oh, I, I don't know. I probably told you this before when I had you on my show, like, you know, last year or two years right. ago, whatever it was. But I was at uh, San Diego and this would have been, well, you were, you guys were all, all the image guys had like the ash cans for mm -hmm. your oh, yeah. upcoming books, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. And there was this, Beautiful girl standing in my line, right? I mean, back then, if there was a good-looking girl at a convention, it was like, you know, it was like. No, I did have long hair, so. Yeah, you were a rocker. You were cool, <laughs> and um, I might have looked like a girl from behind. I still had all my hair, so I don't know what the problem was, but. <laughs> she's patiently waiting in line. I'm signing stuff like you know, uh, you know, Spider-Man annual backups that I did, you know, and and she comes up to me, and I'm like. Yeah, I go, hey, hey. She goes, hi. She goes, 
do you know where Dale Keown's sitting? And I went, yo, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's wrong. Oh, her. He's oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember. <laughs> yeah. It is San Diego, so. Oh, my goodness, yeah. So. You were <laughs> Spider-Man backup stories. You <laughs> didn't impress her. <laughs> no. <laughs> you had no clue. I don't know what it is, but man, every year in San Diego, people stop by my booth and ask me questions. I'm like, do I have an information sign up? So like, you, you, know have, you, have you just have that face. I guess you know. That kind of <laughs> I get that from uh, little old ladies. <laughs> I don't know why. You got that kindly. No, smile. That's why I grew the the beard. Oh, to give you an edge. Yeah, those old ladies will leave you alone. Nobody bothers me. <laughs> well, those old ladies want the bad boy, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. That's why yeah, the maybe I'll, think uh, you, man. You're the bad boy. It backfire on me. So, how's your uh, how's your drawing coming, Dale? Good. <laughs> I did. I didn't realize. You no, know, one thing I've realized though is if you don't practice, it's hard to get back up. Like it takes yeah. a little bit of extra work to get back to where you were. That's work. what we're here for is to help you practice. Keep your Yeah, working. oh shit, I just oh, <laughs> Dude, you you you're busy with some really important projects. You need to keep your uh, rhythm up. So. You're right. See? What's he doing for you then? What are you <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> no, sh he said really important projects can only be your own. No, I'm going to, you wait. I'm going to get Dale to do something for me voice. again. I, uh, I've got your original hanging right up on my wall, right back behind. Oh, yeah. Let me check it out. Yeah. yeah. The oh, Aaron, 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 Aaron see that werewolf right up there next oh, to Oh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did, did Aaron fast talk you and saying, hey, I'll just save you some time. You just sold it to me. <laughs> I did. I paid him sixty-five bucks for it. It was sweet. Yeah, it just brought brought back memories. No, you know what happened was Dale messaged me because I think I told you that I wanted it, the original if you wanted to sell it, and then you just contacted me out of the blue and said, "Hey, mm. you want this?" And I said, "Yeah." And uh, it was a little bit more than sixty-five bucks, but I felt like I got a good deal on it. So, well, sometimes I remember things. <laughs> I, dude, I was bugging you for like four months to pay <laughs> That's you. That's the trick. I'm like, Dale. That's how I remember things. I'm like, Dale, I want to pay you. Send me your info. It took me four months for you to finally give me your info so I could pay you. <laughs> yeah, you think that'd be the first thing? Oh, good times. That's why you need that girl. A woman yeah. would be like, <laughs> I'll, I'll go get that money. I'll go shake them down. That's right. <laughs> that might be fun. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm the only one not drawing. I know. You see, the guilt's got to be uh, working on Well, it. yeah. What was I working on? You guys remember before Dressed Up and the first time you started seeing people dressing up at these conventions? Mm-hmm. The first time was when I went it, to San Diego and I, I saw, I'm like, whoa, this is different than what Michigan. Because <laughs> it used to be, you know, you went to a comic convention, it was a, a big room with a bunch of boxes. That's it, you know, long boxes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden. Good old like, days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, you, that was in California. Is, uh, you know. Yeah, there wasn't a lot when I did San Diego. But yeah, I do, <clears throat> I have done the Fan Expo in Toronto. A few times, and that got crazy. Really, like you, couldn't, you couldn't even walk around without bumping into a robot or <laughs> or a Dalek. Oh, those things! Oh, <laughs> freaking Daleks! I don't even know what that is. That's from oh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Oh, <laughs> oh, they're making, they're all over the convention. Exterminate. And they bother the artists. <laughs> Aren't somebody give me a picture? Can... Uh, Angela Curry for five dollars. Hi, Dale. Dale, do you remember working with a young Shelby Robertson at Image? <laughs> he might have worked in a different studio. Cheers. She's uh, Dale. Do you know who yeah. Shelby Robertson is? Of course I do. Um, there you go. No, he, uh, he invented was... the Mustang, right? <laughs> good, a really good one. Um, no, that was a different timeline. <laughs> well, I mean, he was... I, I mean, I remember seeing his artwork a long time i think he even sent in some fan mail some i uh, sorry uh fan art shelby back in the day like when you were when you were working for doing your books through image yeah and then he's and then he started working for rob 
like a few years later. Now, <clears throat> did you did you leave Image and you did you, when you went to like started publishing yourself, didn't you? Or am I mistaken there? On Pit. Yeah, I went self publishing. Who was that? Uh, who was your rep? What was that guy's name? I can't. Uh, remember. His name was Philip of uh, Foxhoven. Yeah, that's right. Phil right. Foxhoven. I met he, you guys in Australia. That's, that's right. Awesome. He like he did some stuff. He and his brother did uh, work. Sort of worked with Top Cow. Yeah, he was my my I guess my agent for a while. Right. Yeah. Because he contacted me to do some trading cards. For right. Me. The trading cards. Yeah. He did all that stuff. Yeah. But he he did make me a lot of money though. Well, you can't uh, argue with that then. Yeah, I mean, he was just pushing everything. I mean, I literally because of him, I got a Hasbro toy deal. Mm. Now wait a minute. What give us the details on this? Well, it was a <clears throat> what they do is they were supposed to be some kind of like DreamWorks uh either like an animated series or something with Pit. It was a licensing deal. Right. And they always put the, the toy deal first. So they started working on it. And then for, I can't remember what happened because it was a long time ago and I was like really high. <laughs> and, uh, I don't remember the details. But it fell through. But here's the deal. They gave me, oh, I couldn't believe it. Before even the toy was made, they gave me a quarter million dollar upfront guarantee. <gasps> oh, no kidding. Which means if the toy deal uh, falls through, I get to keep it. Which is exactly what happened. So I made a bunch of money, and they wow. didn't even make a toy. Oh, that's oh, man, that's awesome. I wonder if they were kicking themselves. Pro that's a lot. Well, that's of not a lot of. That's not a lot of money for a toy company, though. Right, it's, it's a lot of money for us. That, yeah. yeah, exactly. Now that, that was, been, that, was it, like, that's, that was Phil Fox open. There have been pit toys, though, haven't there? Yes, um, Toy Biz did a pit. It was called Legendary Heroes. And it was like characters, like a bunch of Marx characters. I think Savage Dragon. Uh, who's that one? Oh, my God. What's his name? Oh, oh Art Adams had uh, Monkey Boy and O'Brien. Remember that? Monkey Man and O'Brien, right. Monkey yeah. Man, thank you. Um, who was that other guy? Oh, my God. It's on the, on the tip of my tongue. Oh, man. Did they do Hellboy? No, I don't think so. Maybe later, but it was like I, mine was a Build-A-Figure. Because it was bigger, right, than the other ones? Which, pardon me? The action figure was bigger than the other one. So oh, like, yeah. Way yeah. bigger. Yeah. <clears throat> but you got like a part and you had to assemble it yourself. I still got a bunch of parts. <laughs> but I have to I have to like YouTube how to assemble them because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Did you have to do I got, I got like legs and torsos. <laughs> Did you have to do artwork for it yourself? To, yes. So they got it. Not right for down. no, not for um, not for the toy biz action figure. Oh, really? That they just used existing artwork. Okay. They sort of came up with their own thing, but yeah, the Hasbro I did. I did. Uh, they actually sent me videotapes of the, uh, I guess sculpts. That was, uh -huh. Like they're like wax or something, hmm. and it looked pretty good. It would have been a good action figure. But so it, you actually got to the uh, like the fell stage or almost the prototype stage, and then it fell. Yeah. Wow. So the question is, did you get did you get a sweet a deal with uh, the toy that actually got made as you did with the ones that didn't? Oh, say, oh, I got a. Uh, that's like doing math. Um, <laughs> um, okay. okay. No, I made a lot less with the Toy Biz because they were supposed to keep making them, but then Hasbro bought out Toy Biz. So all the projects, because Toy Biz was part of Marvel, right? Right. And as soon as they were bought out by Hasbro, they dropped all of their stuff. I didn't even know about it. I had to look it up online. I'm like, because they just stopped e emailing me. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> so I found, I found out online in a chat shit. group that the, the, it's all kaput. So I'm like, ah, shit. Because I was, now, I do you own made, the, you own, you own the rights, full rights to Pit, right? Yeah. I might, I might have made like maybe 20. Twenty thousand. Yeah, so you got the, for the you got, you got quarter of a million dollars, and they didn't make the toys, and then they made the toys, and you got like twenty grand. Exactly. Weird. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of wonderful, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good weird, yeah. weird in a good way. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> if it benefits you, it's it's weird in a good way. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, exactly. That's but yeah, that was almost that's the, the toy that almost happened. That, so, that, that could be a Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was poured lonely pit sculpt. Uh, the toy that almost it was almost plastic. Oh my gosh. But they crazy. didn't send me the sculpt. So. I remember once dude. <laughs> okay. I'm living I left in this I lived in this I was renting this really nice house back when I was doing pit, right? And McFarlane wanted to do a pit toy. He sent me uh, like it was it wasn't really a prototype. It was like this prototype of a toy that was like really brittle and breakable. It's like a different kind of plastic. Right. And I was looking at it, man, and I had marble floors, and I went, oh, fucking, the thing shattered. (laughs) (laughs) I was supposed to send it back. (laughs) (laughs) When are you going to send that back? I'm like crazy (laughs) doing this stupid toy back together. So that's the the inside. I never told him I tried. The Mafaro deal didn't go through. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah, So. Got to get it glued up just enough. Then you Todd hand it to someone you know who isn't so handy with that stuff. Yeah. Watch them break it and go, "Oh my god, you just broke that!" <laughs> just, it really fell apart. What did you do? Oh. <laughs> then, were you the it way sounded, man, did McFarland? Did McFarland call you on it? Or uh... no? It sounded like glass breaking. It was horrible. <laughs> uh, it was your heart breaking. No, Todd never said anything. <laughs> He's like, okay. Let's, <laughs> That's par for the course with this guy. But were, were you were you high when you dropped it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a pretty good percentage. I was. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh my god! Oh wow! I so, when did you stop doing pit and then like kind of squeeze back into mainstream comics? That was weird. I was going through some weird episode. <laughs> is there anything you can talk about or are you I just, trying to move on? I was on? trying to think if I could talk about it. <laughs> I might have been going through a breakup. I don't know. Because uh, you sort of like, yeah, because you disappeared for a while and then you came back and started doing like stuff in top. Well, yeah. things like that. I was inconsistent with putting them up. I had one book I was going to do and then I just canceled it. But uh, because it was, it didn't get big enough numbers. I find that hard to believe. No, it didn't. Um, a pit book or a different book? No, this was a pit book. I still have the unpublished, um, but I look at it now and I, it's not very good. So I'll just well, keep it. <laughs> how many issues did you get out? Because I remember twenty. Did you get twenty out? Really? Really? Yeah. It's not bad. Not Great. too bad for me. No, that's kind of what I meant. But I was doing everything. I was penciling, coloring. Oh, you were doing the color too? And plus, you know, at the end there. We, you had to take care of all the publishing stuff, like oh, tell me about like it. the separations and the film output and the, yeah. all that stuff. Different. It was a different thing back then. Do you always think your stuff now, Dale? Today? Uh, yeah, I've had some bad experiences. Like, like I was doing some Avengers book for Marvel, and they said it's okay. We'll just get somebody to ink it. And it was. Ooh. I shouldn't say that. I mean, it was okay. We just talked. Right, no, it, no, it, was, it, it wasn't horrible, but it was like name names. No, I don't yeah. remember. They were just. I know who it was. It was the guy who drowned. It was that inker that drowned. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you you know, can say his name. Um, uh, Al- uh, Albert or uh, Alvin Lee. <laughs> Alvin Lee. No way. <laughs> Alvin Lee and ten I'm years sorry. after. I'm sorry. No, what the hell was his name? I was just thinking about him. You guys, we talked about it last night on Graybeard. Uh, not, uh, no, oh, yeah, the last show. thing he inked was my work. Yeah. Um, it was something Lee or um, come on, Donald Lee. Uh, come on, if you guys. You look, me. I mean, there's only one anchor in the world has ever got pulled out to sea. I think. <laughs> so, wait, uh, wait. This this guy is it? Was it an accident or did, did you? I'm not. Did no, you, he when, when he saw the result, you took him out I've to sea. I've not heard the story. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy. No, this no. guy. He. Um, oh God, we were just talking about it last night. Not, uh, are you here? He, yeah, it was art to bear. Um, <laughs> no, but this guy was out swimming, like with his girlfriend or something, and uh, yeah, he got pulled up by a rip. 
Rip Look at ice. Ethan. Ethan says he was eaten by a shark. Yeah, I knew that guy. He wasn't eaten by a shark. He got. I mean, he disappeared. He might have been eaten by a shark. He but... eventually was, I think. Norman Lee. That's the guy. Norman. Yes. Norman. Oh, Norman. It's <laughs> <laughs> Norman Lee. Brother. Yeah. Thank you, uh, North, uh, Lone Star Viper, for that. There you go, right. Lone Star Viper wow. coming through for us in the clutch. Yeah, Norman Lee. I've yeah, never even thinking. heard of him. I still have his messages. I'm going off for vacation. I'm oh like, my really? god! Really? Do you yes. really? <laughs> I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, hope uh, to work. Her, hope to work with you again. Oh my goodness! I, um, why am I laughing? That's horrible. Yeah, really. Wow. <laughs> well, because you didn't. You didn't have to tell him that you didn't. No. Like work. He pretty. Everybody really liked him. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, because I think it was Andy Smith last night was like, yeah, Dale did this Avengers. I'm like, what? I didn't know yeah. that. And uh, so, yeah, we brought it up and looked at it. Anyway, well, thanks, hey, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. it. That was great. Thanks for thanks showing us. Good seeing all of you. And yeah, we'll, do, we'll have to do this again. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Next time, this, next time, next time got I'll be prepared. Yes. I mean, I, if I have it in a, a notice... Dude, I'd let you know. I can draw time. something really good and pretend I'm drawing it. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> yep. There are no rules, even though. Give me a month's notice. Exactly. There are no rules. I come from a household of rules. So. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much. Thanks, hey, man. Dale. Appreciate Bye. it. Man. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Bye. All right.